is it. This is the last you will see of this room without carpet. We did it. We finally got carpet. It's been a long three years and this room has looked probably the worst out of every part of this house, but we're, uh, we're getting there. It's looking really good. So up next we got closet. I gotta figure this out and then the door. So let's get started. So the more I look at this green, uh, the more I realize it's not really matching what I had in mind. It doesn't really match the carpet. So uh, back to the hardware store, new paint. I like that a lot better. So let's keep going. All right, got a little something for the cats now. Uh, Speaking of which, so the couch will go here and then uh, they'll be climbing up here, probably fighting over this this spot here, best spot in the house. And uh, so we'll see. Once we put the couch in, hopefully they, uh, they find it and they like it. So one more thing down. All right, let's do something with this closet. It's uh, missing some key components like, you know, closet stuff. $250 later, here we are. If I don't have to go back to the store, that'd be amazing. I just, I winged it. I got the measurements and I just bought some stuff. So let's see what we can do. So, good news, bad news. I already discovered that I forgot to buy something. Uh, I didn't start yet. Well, kinda. So, in these kits, all it gives you are these guys. But, uh, I know where all the studs are. Or, well, kind of. So, for the first time in a very long time, I've actually been able to use my stud finder, um, since this is a brand new wall. Uh, the downside is, these are meant for drywall. Um, I think you can pull the nail and clip the ends off uh, and get something like this. But the good news is I actually already have a few of these. I don't even know where they came from. So I'm going to use what I have and then, uh, maybe just use these in the drywall. We'll see. See how it goes. This was all easy in my head. It's my biggest mistake. Didn't you put your studs on 16 inch centers? <laughs> sure. All right, so the top portion of this is just about done. Uh, ran into a little issue when I put weight on the front of this, the shelf pops out of these back clips, but not to be outsmarted by uh, an inanimate object like I usually am. I uh, tied them down with a little bit of zip tie action going on there, and I think that's gonna work out perfect.
This actually looks really good. I like this. Le missus will be pleased. This is not nearly enough room for the amount of clothes she has though, so. Double it! Well, welcome back to another episode of, uh, I don't have what I need. I bought the wrong thing and I just kind of wing it. Uh, so we have the edge mount. Yeah, that's not, <laughs> why is it so deep? Anyway, so I did what any non-reputable DIYer would do and uh, trimmed it up a little bit. So now we are in business. Well, it looks like I went ahead and cut uh, the wrong side, so. Guess they're going in the trash. Well, if it's any constellation, uh, I wouldn't have been able to hang it anyway. It only came with one screw. Wait. Nope. You know, if this house has taught me anything, it's to take the good with the bad. You know, the good is I found the screw and the rest doesn't matter. It was there the whole time. How I found it, it doesn't matter, you know? What matters is I found it. All right, welcome back to my, uh, whatever this is, I don't know. Anyway, so this is the end brackets, the one that I have to cut for it to fit. And this is the pole bracket. So as you can see, the pole bracket comes with screws and this comes with nails. So here's the problem. The nails are smaller than the hole. So it just comes right out. So what I do or what I have to do is use the screws on this bracket and then the nails on this because that's not going anywhere. That's that actually fits. So, figure it out. All right, I am pretty pumped about how this turned out. Uh, I was going to copy what I did up here down here, but the missus has about a two to one ratio in terms of clothing. Uh, for every one article of clothing, she has two dresses, and those are pretty long, so I figured something with more height. Uh, and there's a, there's a ton of little things that I still have planned for this closet, but I need all the stuff in here to see what needs done. Like, I got a bunch of these, a um, couple other things. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to call this done until... She gets moved in here and we'll see what needs, uh, see what needs done then. So, on to the next thing. It's just so hot. That's the problem. All right, so here's the dilemma. I gotta cover this pipe. I have no idea what I'm doing, so. Um, about four months ago, I hired a plumber to come in and do something with this pipe. Basically make it look like the rest of the baseboard heaters. Um, he said, yeah, I'll do the job, I'll come by. And that was that was like five months ago. Uh, so I, I don't wanna have to, I'll keep reaching out. So I'm gonna try to figure this out on my own. Um, I started with trying to find uh, a similar baseboard heater cover. Turns out they don't make them anymore. Uh, they, they only make one specific style pretty much. They're hard to come by anymore. I haven't been able to find it, pretty much. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna do the next best thing and I'm gonna come up with a little DIY solution with some insulation and some trim. So let's see what we can come up with. Ooh, we're about a foot short. Whatever, I'm over. So here's the thing about plumbers. They do a job that nobody 
else is either willing to do or know how to do. Sometimes both. And we need to treat them with a lot more respect than, than we realize, you know? I, I don't know if this is just in America, but there's just so much entitlement, like false entitlement, that's like, customer's always right, I wanna see your manager. And it's like, when you hire a contractor, most of the time they work for themselves. They can say no at any point. You know, you need to realize it's not some, not some idiot working a cash register that has a manager who then has a manager who then has another manager. Like this is, you're dealing with the manager. So be patient, be kind, be willing to meet halfway. And that's, that's all there is to it, you know? Just don't be entitled. Anyway, this is Craig. He's going to help me out today. Pocket holes. So this was going so well. I had my nice miter joints here. I was ready to do this, and uh, I realized this pipe sticks out a lot further than I thought. Um, see, over here, it's like right up against the wall, and you get, you know, plenty of coverage. But not the case over here, so what do I do? I gotta be careful because in the small room, I painted it entirely in Lowe's white, whereas this room I did entirely in Home Depot white. So I got them both this time. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. And uh, I think this is, I think this is right. Let's go with this. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It's definitely nothing fancy, but it does its job at a fraction of the cost of, uh, you know, another shell like that, um, if I can even find something like that. So I will be, I will be happy with this for now. Um, you'll never guess how I solved this issue. <laughs> it doesn't look half bad, but don't worry, guys. <laughs> I painted it copper. I painted the copper copper, so, you know. <laughs> uh, if you can't laugh at your own mistakes, then what's the point, right? I just, you know, I gotta stop spray painting inside here. It's... All right, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm gonna work on this porch at a later date, and once I do, uh, I'm just gonna come back and put a piece of flashing on there, because right now it's it's a little rough, but it'll do, it'll do fine. So uh, I'm gonna go grab the door, and then once we have the door in place, then I can start putting up some uh, some more trim. So let's do it. The, uh, the fun continues. I thought this was a two-pack. <laughs> There's a... Uh... There's only one in there. Great.
right, well, without further ado, let's get right into it. It is done. And here it is. I can't believe it's actually done. And it looks so nice. It smells so nice. Which is just a candle, but it's just home. It feels like home. And it's been so long. Um, it's just awesome. I loved how this turned out. It's so simple, it's so cozy. And most importantly, it's done. <laughs> I can't say that about every room in this house, but now I can say it about this room. The biggest room in the house, and I can't believe it's here. All this hard work, and we made it. So that is it, folks. Without further ado, I'm gonna relax. Turn on the AC and just enjoy the space. I can't believe it's done and it's nice and cool in here. I'm happy. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of the other videos I've been doing and uh, I'll be here making some videos. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks.